In this video, I'll show you how to determine if a table of values represents a function. You'll need to know two important words, the first one being a relation, which is a relationship between two variables, and a function, which is a relation in which for every input, usually represented as an x value, there is exactly one output, and that's represented by a y value. So this would be your independent variable and your dependent variable. The question asks, which relation is a function? So we have four questions, four tables, and all four of these tables are a relation between x and y. So you'll notice that in question A, you have the following x values. And remember, a function is a relation in which for every input, there's exactly one output. But this four here gives us two outputs. It gives us a two and a negative two. So this does not represent a function. Moving on to B, once again, we have 4 and a 4, but this time they both represent 16. So we can conclude that this is a function because both of these 16s are the same, and they represent the same x. Moving on to C, you'll notice that for every x value, only one y input exists. For example, at 0 we have a 4, and at this 0 we also have a 4. So this is also a function. And finally for D, in this relation, you'll notice that at 2, you have a y value of 2. And then again at 2, you have a y value of 3. Therefore, this table of values does not represent a function. So there you have it. That is how to determine if a table of values represents a function. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.